then finally, if you want a shortcut and you are feeling confident with all the steps we've done so far, I'm going to hand you a shortcut. Um, here's our story. We have um, a ticket to a concert costs $49, and the box office, the people who collect the money, uh, end the night with $6,958, and they want to figure out how many tickets did we sell. So we can do that by dividing the total that they collected by the price of the ticket, $49. Um, in this shortcut, you can multiply, actually let's begin, and then when we get to where the shortcut will help us, I'll tell you. So 49, how many times can it go into 6? None. How many times can it go into 69? Looks like once to me, because if I'm thinking money, twice would be really, this is uh, really close to 50, twice would be 100, that looks like too much. 1 times 49 is 49 subtract and I get 20 and I'm going to bring down the 5. Now I need to think about how many times does 49 go into 205. Again I can think about money. This is 50 cents. I could think 50 cents, a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars. That's really close to 205 cents if you're thinking about money. Or even just you could just think 50, 100, 150, 200, four times. Now here's the spot where the shortcut might help you. Instead of going over here and doing 49 times 4, you can actually do your multiplication right over here if you're pretty sure that you've got the right number. Multiply the digit of the divisor that you just wrote down, that would be a 4 in our case, by the ones place of the digit of our devi um, divisor. So I'm going to do 4 times 9 is 36. Carry the tens above the divisor. So 4 times 9 is, put the 6 down, carry the 3. So 36. Now I'm going to multiply and add. So I'm going to do 4 times the tens place. 4 times 4 is 16 and add this. 17, 18, 19. Basically I just did 49 times 4 over here and, and thought about where to put my numbers. I carried over here. If that part confuses you, then just do it regular over here. Don't try to multiply all in the same step over here. And then when I subtract, I would get 9. I'm going to bring down the 8. And then I can think that 49, um, that's about 50, close to 100. This is close to 100. I'm going to try 2. And I can do it again. You might even want to cross this guy out. 2 times 9 is 18. Put the 8 down here, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and I would have no remainder. So in this case, 142 tickets were sold at the price of $49. Again, if this shortcut, keeping track of how you're multiplying over here, uh, doesn't help you, then stick with multiplying to this side and adding, putting what you figure out over here in the division problem.